Hi, Miss. Come here. So, when I was 10, moms and her mom's friends came over five times taking turns all day for the first five minutes of the day to take care of mommy. And they completely took Craig and said, and told dad that they took, they take all, they come over all the time taking care of mommy. And where they only came over like five times to take care of mommy for five minutes. And the rest of the time after they took care of mommy, changed the pad under her, uh, under her bottom vagina and that, which was the same pad that Vinny put under mom in case if she went to the bathroom. Hey, Dan, did you hear all the stuff I said? Mm-hmm. You know the pad that mom, uh, that Finny put under mom, right? Yeah. It was the same pad that he used for the dog. Yeah. And also mom's friends, you know mom's friends? They changed the pad every time they came over there. Okay. And if I took her to the bathroom. You know, the actual bathroom, I think. Which I always found weird because, like, for some reason, uh, uh, they brought over this uh, thing that raises the toilet, but they never end up using it. You know what I'm talking about, right? I don't know what it's called, do you? Let me tell you, I was really me and AJ was really taking care of mommy. Mom and Vinny Francis took credit for it. For all the hard work me and, me and AJ did. AJ always took mommy to the bathroom. I always watched mommy's with movies with mommy. And one time, because I didn't want to cut, or only one time, and only one time because mommy didn't ask me to do it another time, I shaved her legs. I wanted to take my time because I was kind of enjoying having. I was kind of having a good time, and I didn't want to cut mommy's skin. Yeah, this was when I was, I think, 10, I think, or 8. No, 8. It was when I was 8. And Mom had to walk around with the cane. Bing didn't do any of that stuff. Or Mom's friends. Or family members. The other times, Mom just decided to shave and do it herself because I guess I was just taking too long. I feel bad for taking too long. Should I? One of the movies that me and Molly watched was Batoon in the Wolf of Wall Street. And also another movie with starring Coolio, I think. No, it was a Coolio song called Gates of Paradise and it's starring Michelle Pfeiffer. About, and she was like teacher of the school. You know that one, right? Yeah. What's that called? Dangerous Minds. Yeah, thank you. Thank Dangerous Minds. And Girl Interrupting in 101 Dimensions seemed to be mommy's favorite that we watched together. For some reason. At least it just looked like that was her favorite to me, but she seems like to be the most enjoying the, those ones the most. Yeah, I'm walking around to help with my PTSD, which is why I get in school to walk around. 
I remember most of the things I walked around because of my anxiety. I walked around to handle my PTSD, not my anxiety. I think like how school's going to take this. When I was eight years, no, ten years old, Vinny says, Jake, your mom was beautiful when he was looking at a picture of mom and Alice and also Steve, mom and Steven Tyler and said, your mom was beautiful. And he was like looking and smiling at this picture, like, uh, at, at the picture, like, I, like, I was like looking at him, like, are you fucking for real? Are you still, you don't think she's beautiful now? I was one, I thought he was like fucking, a uh, fucking idiot. Uh-huh. <laughs> because he said that. Did I ever talk to that Miss Cormier? Did I ever tell Miss Cormier that? Actually, I think I did. In the world of your video. Dad's in his depression and anxiety. Right, Dad? <laughs> <coughs> Mom seemed to like enjoy the most watching the Android and Jolene movies, Daddy. Yeah. yeah, and the one that she really liked was Gia. She didn't seem to mind the part when Angelina and Jolene was naked. She seemed to kind of like it. Yeah. Is that is that is that weird? Well. You sure mommy wasn't a secretly gay? <laughs> I mean, I always thought she was. I even remember how big Mommy smile was when she saw Angel Jolie naked in that movie. Yeah. How are you taking this? <laughs> hey, yeah, I think that mommy, there's a chance that she might have been bisexual. <laughs> huh? That's funny. What's so funny? I always just said there's a chance you might be bisexual. I didn't say there's anything wrong. I just I think you're funny. Oh, okay. How come I don't find myself as entertaining as you find me entertaining? <laughs> no idea. Oh, and I'm obsessing like a little newborn baby now. Did I told you that, Miss Clea? I haven't been this obsessive since the day of my birth before mom drugged me. Gave me all the those other medications. How you see Miss Clea will take that? With joy? Isn't that great, Miss Cormier? I have been this obsessive since 1997 on the day of my birth. How great is that? It feels wonderful. <laughs> Me and Mommy watch all three Home Alone films. And the fourth one. And we also watch the, the show Third Rock from the Sun, all episodes. 
Dad, have you touched that, Dad? We watched all episodes of Third Rock from the Sun. And also 30 Rock a little. A little 30 Rock, too. Yeah. And The Office. The original show in the, uh, the Steve Carell one. Me and Mommy also watched the movie The Sandlot. Dad ever told you that? No. And The Sandlot too. And watch T Provides the Dunson 1 and 2. Yeah. I also watched those movies with Vinny. So that's why I act kind of funny after I watched them after when I was 13. Or 10. How are you taking this? We saw Cheaper by the Dozen too with AJ in theaters. Dead. Yeah. Remember? Mm-hmm. Don't eat your anxiety and depression. Okay. Don't eat as fast. Then goes for you too, Miss Cormier. And anyone who's watching this, otherwise you'll get sick like daddy. Probably. As in, you might throw up. <laughs> Me and Mommy watched the movie Another Cinderella Story signing Celia Gomez. And also in the uh, Lizzie Lohan movie and uh, what's, I can't remember what the other guy's name was. But anyway, the story is about the, uh, they have the shit, one kiss and the, sh- and the switch uh, luck. So Lindsay, so Lindsay Lohan gets the bad luck now for the entire film. And the other guy has this good luck for the entire film until the kiss again. Now, I almost bend my finger now. We also watched the movie, He's Just Not That Intense Things I Hate About You. And he's just not in, that into you and how to lose a guy in four days. And also we watched the movie on uh, Santa Baby 2 and Santa Baby 1. Bye.